Hey, uh, hey folks, how you doing? Dern D back with you as we continue our Let's Play of Hero You Rogue 2 Redemption. Glad to have you along. So last time, uh, we learned from the quirk that the librarian has been at the castle for a long time, so I do intend to talk to him. Also, uh, there is the trap tapper that we need to purchase at some point. I don't think we have the cash for it right now. I think we have to work one more night in the uh, kitchen uh, in order to get the uh, cash. Uh, this is most wonderful. Gregor has a special thing to sell to Master Sean. What do you got, Gregor? Uh, talk to him. Ask about him. How are things going for you, Gregor? Gregor is doing very well. Gregor won the cooking contest at the Ratty Harvest Festival the other morning. It was Drat Fricana style? Okay. Uh, I didn't know you took classes here. Gregor loves to learn. Gregor learned magic from Professor Featherstone. Ha! <laughs> Cooking from Chef Kina and first aid from Lady Moira. Gregor has been part of Hero School for a long time. Okay. Uh, ask about the store. What do you have in store for me today that's so special? Gregor has the Houdini 42 special tools and the Trap Tapper for sale. Master Sean will be safe from nasty traps and poisons if he learns how to use these. Gregor is happy that young master will be safe. How does it work? He looks super surprised for that question. Gregor is ashamed to say that Gregor has no idea how these work. Gregor is not a disarmed bird. I wonder if that's a typo or if that was intentional. Uh, but Gregor is confident that the young master will learn to use these very well. And we'll ask about the ratties, because apparently they live under the town. Uh, do you have a someone special or ratty mate, Gregor? Gregor came from Samaria with the school, so Gregor is not part yet of the Caligari ratty tribe. The Shees want Gregor to prove that Gregor, Gregor will be a good ratty provider and mate before Gregor can court she ratty. What are shees? Shees are female ratties. She's decide if men's good enough to have littles with she ratties. I'm surprised the she's haven't let you into the tribe after all the drats and approaches you brought to them. She's very much like Gregor's gifts. Gregor soon be part of Caligari tribe and can court pretty she. Then Gregor will have littles of own to teach and care for. And Gregor will be a great father. Say goodbye. Shop at the store. I think this is... Okay. Uh... It's only 50 if I buy it from him. Also, I do want a poison antidote, apparently. Alright, so that's all the things I need, then. Uh, I guess if I buy it from, uh, what's-his-face outside the, uh, school classroom, um, it's probably a little bit more expensive. He's probably got, he's like a corner store. He puts a markup, uh, for convenience. Uh, also, I want to keep doing the Apple thing for... Uh, my little quirk friend. So let's go grab one of those and lay it down. Because we are learning some more details about the school and its history. So we'll take an apple. Uh, so it's quarter to nine. So we do have a little bit of time. As long as I don't do an activity, I think we're we're going to be fine for being able to talk to the librarian and uh, get back to class. We don't want to really get caught outside the our dorm room again because we've already had our basically our free pass from uh, Turk. All right, so we'll lay down an apple and uh, is there anything else? Apparently, I can look look at it. Some carbonite designs flanking. But the mantle is interesting. I have no idea what it means. It was carved there. And the apple that I left there. Okay. So yeah. That um, that whole relief thing is still boggling me. Um, and I don't want to look up a walkthrough either. Like I, I want this to be 100% me. If I, if I can. Um, we still know how to get to the sea caves. That's a big thing. Let's see if we can learn something from the Librarian. So apparently he's been here a while. Chat with the Librarian. Greet him. Hello, sir. Greetings. Greet the Librarian. Nice day, isn't it? Perhaps. Okay. Uh, I guess we're done with that. 
Ask about books. Disbarred bard books. Uh, clever. Uh, is there anything new in this big old book? Uh, read the book. Yes, yes, <laughs> some new pages. The Order of the Knights Lumiere expanded their ranks and became the center of heroism for Sardonia. The Order helped build the city of Caligari and was renowned throughout the world for its principles of knightly honor. However, they did not know the halls of Castle Lumiere harbored a traitor who sought to betray everything that the Knights Lumiere had sworn to protect. The warlock Aquino was disillusioned by his banishment from Albion. He silently seethed that he had helped to save the world twice, yet only the knights received the honor and the glory. Moreover, his research into the Dark Ones slowly corrupted his soul. With dark magic, he sought to gain power from the Dark Ones. Then one day, Gagsaloth began to whisper to Aquino. The page ends there. That can end well. It does not. Well, that probably explains why the castle was abandoned for so long. Okay, so there's nothing really new there. We don't have a lot of time. So, uh... I'll try the gazebo once more, but I didn't... Well, uh... Let's look at it. Uh, search. Yeah, there's still nothing new that I can see us doing there. All right, so uh, we're going to head back and uh, we're going to study as a good student. So thankfully we have the trap at Tapper now. That means hopefully we won't get poisoned if we encounter any traps. Um, also, apparently midterm break is coming up. So we're going to have three days to do what we want there. Uh, can I talk to... Ooh, I can listen at this door. Are you having any luck with your mission? The only thing I've learned is that Turk is useless. Perhaps if you would tell me more about it, I could be more helpful. I really want to help you, Cesare. What I need from you right now is a cloaker. But Cesare, cloakers are very expensive. It would take more money than I have to buy one from the fence. Then you need to make more money. Just steal something. But uh, we're not supposed to steal from the school. You know that, Cesare. You don't really believe the crap Lord is shoveling, do you? You're a thief. You'll always be a petty, grubbing thief. So act like one. Get me a cloaker. Huh. Uh, don't want to talk to Thomas, but I do want to see if Katie um, is home. Who is it? Hi, it's just me. I want to talk a bit. Talk somewhere else. Go away. But I wanted to learn about the sea caves, because you talked to us last time about the sea caves. Anyway, maybe there's something new going on in our room? Uh, there's a desk. Now, I think this guy is gone out on some sort of field trip somewhere. So, I'm going to study. Study your lessons. Lock picking. Keep boosting that up as much as I can. Smarts increase. That's me. And then we'll study just class notes. Smarts increased. Okay. All right, and we will head to bed. Go to sleep. Why does morning come so early? No kidding, no kidding. As I was saying, yesterday's discussion was about how not to get caught in another's traps. It applies more to just using tools and chests and safes. Today we are going into the other aspect of the way of the spinny, one that deals with the life and death nature of traps. Traps on chests are designed to kill those who, un uh, who try to wrongly unlock them. You will die from poison unless you take the proper precautions. Likewise, there are many situations you will face where your life is on the line. It will take more than a small trap to stop a dangerous opponent. Herr Cairo, how do you stop a monster from getting to you? Me? If I were facing a monster, I'd probably put down some super gooey to slow the monster down, then throw a flambe to block its path. Then I would run away as fast as possible. 
Wise of you, it's foolish to risk your life facing a monster. It's better to use stealth and observation to avoid direct confrontation. However, when stealth fails, then by all means, use every available method to stay alive. I would set up a series of mighty traps to damage and slow the monster while through flambés and daggers to kill it. As long as you have sufficient equipment and room to maneuver, that approach should work. However, it depends on the monster. Few monsters are worth the effort or the expense of killing them. Sticky traps like gooey, incendiaries like flambé, and Greek fire, or powders like itching or sleeping, can delay the monsters enough for you to escape. If you're taking the science elective, you can make some of these trap devices. If you're taking the magic elective, you can use runes. A few of these items are available at the school store. When you go into a dangerous situation, always be observant. Mark your path with chalk. You might get lost. See the dangers before they see you. Whenever possible, avoid combat. Combat should be your last resort. However, if you must fight, fight intelligently. Use traps to minimize the damage your enemies can do to you. Weaken them with throwing weapons before they can reach you. If you must go into danger, be like the spider and trap your unwary prey. Any questions? Uh, let's ask a reasonable question. I guess you don't want us practicing our traps and tricks in the practice area. Correct. I don't want to see the use of such traps and devices here in the main parts of the university. It may well be that you'll never need such equipment. However, not all areas of this castle are safe. If you choose to explore the hidden areas, make sure you're equipped to handle whatever you can uncover. Tomorrow will be our midterm exam. I trust you're all capable of scoring well upon it. If not, then perhaps your time would be better spent outside this university. Guten Tag. It's like the only German I know. O'Connor, we need to talk right now. I want my map back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she gave us part of the map. I trusted you. You know how important that map is to me. Give it back right now. Is she accusing me of stealing it? Uh, say something clever to show you want to help. Okay, so what you're telling me is that your map is missing and you think I'm to blame. Is that why you're so angry at me? Of course I'm angry. You stole it. But no one else but Esme knew about the map. Katie, I know how much that map means to you. You have every reason to be angry. You're my friend. I certainly wouldn't want to hurt you by stealing your map. When did you notice it was missing? Just a few minutes ago when I was putting my notebook away in my pack in the classroom. The map was gone, but I just put it there this morning. So the map must have been stolen at either breakfast or in class, is that it? Aye, that's so. I want it back, O'Connor. In the dining hall, you left your pack in the corner with everyone else's backpack, right? Yes, that's so. So anyone could have taken the map from your pack during breakfast, couldn't they? No one else knew the map but you and Esme, and I trust Esme. Uh, our charm is fairly high, so let's try polite. I thought you'd like me. I don't like liars and thieves. Okay, then you do like me. Katie, we're friends. You can trust me. I really didn't steal the map. We need to find the real thief. Don't worry. I'll help get your map back. Besides, you probably have it memorized by now from all that studying you've done. Even without the map, you can find the treasure. Okay, maybe you didn't steal the map, but I'm still upset about it. But I will find that treasure with the map or without it. And any help you give to me, you give to me will be appreciated. So, we did see yesterday that Joel well, was kind of being pressured by Cesari into stealing something. I wonder if I checked out his room. It seems as if Miss McMichael is rather upset about something. Did she perhaps mention you the reason why she is displeased? Um, everything's going for you? Fine, very fine. Everything's going fine. Oh, that's not suspicious at all, Joel. Ask about the map. You wouldn't know anything about the theft of Kitty's treasure map, would you? Mew? A stolen map? I have no idea who would do such a terrible thing. Such a thief would break the rules of the Stabard Bard. Such a thief might as well be expelled from the school. I do not wish to be expelled from here. That would be bad. Any rumors? Did you hear any rumors of Kitty's map before? Man, he is like totally suspicious. Uh, I happened to overhear Katie talking to you about the map yesterday in the dining hall, but I assure you, I was unaware of it before then. Miss McMichael would certainly seem most accept. I do hope she's not. she does not suspect that I would do something like that. I do not want to face her wrath. Let's compliment him. 
I am going to see if I can break into the room. Because that is uber suspicious. Okay, so that's their room. Let's save before we do anything drastic. Drastic. Uh, listen. Don't think anyone's in the room. Uh, that's right. I think there's a spell or something that prevents us from uh, doing anything with that. So what do we want to do with the rest of our day? Um, we could talk to Ciceri. Maybe he knows something. Like, it's still, like, uber suspicious. I haven't tried this. Can I go into the classroom? I have not been in the classroom outside of class hours, so... Maybe this will unlock something for us. It looks like a basic desk, just as the others, but I know firsthand it's actually pillory in disguise, using the shackles of rules and etiquette to confine me for hours. Okay, uh, let's check out Joel's desk. Uh, greasy like Joel. Open. Drawers open. These desks don't have drawers, okay. Thomas Sosi. What's this cabinet? It's too heavy to move. Can I get the lock up? Got it. There's nothing in there, okay. There's the adventurer with a dagger through his heart. Look at the portrait. There's a throwing knife stuck in the painting. Someone has clearly registered mild disapproval of the headmaster. Let's take the dagger. Steal the portrait. No. Uh, plaque. I think those are just the rules. Look at the plaque. Looks gibberish. Maybe it's some sort of code. Huh. Interesting. Some manacles here. Look at the rusty manacles, steal them. They're bolted to the wall. Combat dunny, shields and swords. Can I take a sword? There's no market for them. They're clunky weapons, okay. Let's <laughs> not steal the target, okay. Uh, chalkboard. Look at the chalkboard. See bits of writing underneath. Uh, erase the chalkboard. Looks pretty clean. Right. What would I write? Turk smells awful. The master doesn't know quite as much as he thinks. Who sold the seventh roll of the rogue school? Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the bookshelf then. Look at the bookshelf. Full of books. Read a book. 5,000 shades of grey. Typed and classified. I mean, as pictures, sort of. Uh, there's a crate here. Yeah, we won't steal from our classroom. Doors are locked. Okay. So nothing new in the classroom. Thought I'd check it out, though. We did get to practice, like, our lock-picking stuff. Um... He's not there right now. Huh. Check for traps. Definitely see there's a trap sitting in the locking mechanism. Disarm the trap. Okay. So it's not master. Uh, all right, so we'll go with bowels. Okay. Uh, what about O? 
No. A. Okay. Uh, any other? There's E. Yeah, E is a bell. Um, hmm. We'll do the Wheel of Fortune thing and do RST whatever. R-S-T-L Failure This is why I have things saved uh, And then you Got it! I've had Smart the Master I'll teach him <laughs> That'll teach him to teach me how to disarm traps Yikes! It's not fair, I successfully disarmed the trap. Don't tell me that Master cheated by putting a trap tapper proof trap on his door. I guess I need to find another way to open it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's go to the practice room, see if there's anybody there. I guess that's why the answer was failure. Um, nobody here. We will. Is there anything new on the bulletin board? Something odd about... Ooh. Odd area. Examine the wall. Something odd. Move the wall. Maybe if I pull a sconce. Okay, let's take a look at the bulletin board. First notice, I think we've read these before. Throwing knives. Okay. Question is, what else can we do here? There's only really the sconces. try this so that's the first time I've noticed that is there nothing else I can like push or pull or whatever it's a plaque work harder and smarter okay about the urn No. Apparently I can't do anything with that. Well, let's train... Uh, I think this is defense. How about you? Great, now, now I'm like totally absorbed with that odd area. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to end off this episode here uh, while we try to figure out what to do next. I'm just gonna, Let's just talk to Joel once again, see if there's anything else. I think we found like a coin or something in that vase before. Uh, ask about him. It's got itching powder. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to end things out there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, more to come. We'll see you next time. Take care. Have yourself a great day.